Okay, so before we put the cups in, let's go install this guy first. Um, so this is the last part that we took out, if you remember. Um, that's the equivalent of this part right here. So you can see the two parts are totally different. One of them has a taper and one of them is just flat. Um, it's like the opposite. The bearing is tapered on this one, but the, the seal is flat. And the, the bearing is, um, is not tapered, but the seal is tapered. <laughs> so they're like opposites. It's kind of weird. So anyway, anyway, this part replaces this part right here. So what we're going to do first is uh, let's grease the stem a little bit. Let's okay, a little so bit you don't have to put a whole lot of grease on it, but just put a little bit so like it slides on nicely. Just a nice little light coat around the bottom part here where it tapers. So, so, so your part slides on nicely. All right, and then we're gonna go put our little cup in. Um, so remember this little indentation here should be uh, facing upward, I think. I hope. <laughs> It's not hard to get out at all. It's interesting. The uh, the part on the other uh, the old part was way harder to get out than that. So I'm surprised. Maybe because there was no grease. I'm not sure. <laughs> Maybe it'll get stuck there eventually. But that seems like it's pretty loose. But it fits in there perfectly. So that's good. All right. Ooh, so okay. That's the first step. Right. Install the cup. Uh, we're gonna install the upper cup first. So the upper one is this big kind of tall one, tallish one. Um, you cannot install them wrong because they're different sizes. So. There's no way, yeah, there's no way you're going to install them. So, so go ahead and kind of get that into position. Maybe it would help to freeze it a little bit, but... Soran, uh, Soran gives you this tool to... This is the installation tool for the cups. Um, it's a piece of PCV, PCV pipe, PVC pipe, that um, that fits over the uh, over it almost perfectly. Don't even think you need it. You can probably just use a dead blow hammer. So we're just going to use this rubber mallet here to pound it down. I, I don't even think. I don't. You don't even need this. <laughs> it probably be. It probably helps if you have a bigger mallet, but just tap all the way around it. Not even I'm not even putting a lot of force into it. Okay, so so there is quite a big lip here. So when you do need to uninstall it again, you know, just like we did with the with the with the long socket, we just we just popped it right out. So all right, so the upper cup is installed. Okay, now we're gonna go install the lower cup. Um, let's just go move this fork out of the way a little bit. As you can saw, I installed the other one dry with no problems, so um, hopefully this one will be okay. So here's the uh, here's the uh, upper one. Actually, let me lower the camera again so you get the thing level with it. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and install the uh, this cup so it goes like that. This one goes in quite a ways. harder to install the number. Um, let's get something flat to put on top. I feel that this this does not work too well. I agree. This 
didn't need this at all. <laughs> okay, so uh, I got a bigger mallet. Uh, I got a dead blow hammer, just a big one, so it's nice and flat. Put more force into it. <laughs> All right, man. There it is. I got the lower cup in there. So this is how the the lower cup was hard to take out. It's just as hard to put back. It's actually even harder to put back in. Um, I had to break out a bigger dead blow hammer. I had to use like three of them. Um, I was just using a small one and a big one. It's hard to kind of drive it in there straight. It's like I was hitting one side and try to hit the other side, you know. Um, hopefully I didn't mess it up. It's pretty hard to mess it up. As long as you don't mess the race up, you're, you'll be fine. So um, I tried to get in there as far as I could. Um, I think you want to be able to like maybe, you want to barely get your fingernail in there. Hopefully that's good. So pretty far up in there now. I hope. Hopefully I didn't deform it at all. Uh, one thing you could probably do to make it easier would be to freeze the cup freeze the cup and uh, and yeah maybe it'll be the the race didn't fall out too so but uh, yeah I think if you freeze the cup it might just slip right in there so um, if I was to do that if I was to do this again because uh, the top one went in there really easy the bottom one <laughs> the bottom one was so hard to get in there I'm, I'm all winded now and all sweaty and crap so I got a I got a hammer workout today. But anyway, um, yeah, just make sure you're hitting the cup and not the race. Don't don't damage the race there. The race is the one that's important. So. Uh, but yeah, it's in there now. So. Uh, I'll get a closer video. Okay, so here's a close-up there. My handiwork. So you can see that went in quite a bit. It's probably like around there somewhere. Let me see. Let me stick my finger in there. Yeah, it's like, like right around here it ends. So uh, you want to stop when it gets flush. So um, there's plenty of room in there. So don't. Don't be shy. Uh, really go to town on that sucker. Um, but like I said, if I if I was to do this again, I would freeze the cup so it would just slide in there, and probably I would probably put some grease in there too. Um, I uh, it, it was kind of misleading how the top one was so easy to put in, and then the bottom one was is so much harder to put in. So um, yeah, so so okay, so we're ready to go install the fork. Okay, so we're gonna go install the uh, the fork now. Uh, so the first thing to do is put the uh, the lower bearing in. Um, it could be either one; they they're interchangeable. So and this is this is the one that I packed already, full of grease. Go slide that down here. Um, also, you want to make sure make sure everything is clean. Like everything kind of got dirty. So okay, go wipe it so down. What we're gonna do it. is uh, we're gonna go install our lower uh, lower. Clean that up. So I'm gonna clean 
There's a little bit of dust got on this when we were pounding the uh, helium. this to be as clean as possible because it should be really clean. All right. Okay, so you're going to want to put it in with the taper part, the smaller part going upwards. Aha! So I knew this tool would come in handy, so... Okay, so the, this is a tool that Hades would make it made out of an old... Uh, uh, tapered roller bearing. Basically this is the inner race and I cut it so it would uh, um, so it'll slip over the um, the stem. It's for a different bike though. Okay, so here's but what's going on here. here. So There's a little bit of a gap underneath there. Now um, so we gotta go, we actually gotta press the bearing on the air a little bit. It's gotta go like maybe like two, two or three millimeters so I'm gonna put this old bearing on top. So whatever you do Whatever you do, you do not want to hit this this uh, retainer here with the bearings in it. Um, it's okay to hit the it's okay to hit the race on the out on the upper part. Is that's safe? Like as long wherever the bearings are rolling, don't don't hit that. So, and then so we can use our little pipe here because this pipe is way too big. We can use our pipe to oh it's not too long it's not long enough though. <laughs> Um, again, that piece of pipe that the Suron uh, gave us uh, is it, useless. It, does, it doesn't really help. Okay, so I found the pipe that's the right diameter to fit over the stem. So, uh, so yeah. Um, so I just wanted something that's, you know, that'll fit on top of that that bearing race over there so we can drive the, the new bearing in. So, uh, like I said, it's only got like two or three millimeters to go, so... But this way it spreads the uh, the force throughout the whole thing. So here we go. I'm gonna go whack it in there and hopefully it works. So uh, that's the only pipe I could find. So <laughs> that's the reason why I'm using it. Okay, I got it in there with a couple wax. It wasn't hard at all, um, but uh, it just I just used the pipe just to make sure it was clean in there smooth. But what I forgot, what I didn't do is I forgot to make sure this pipe was clean. There's a bunch of dirt in there, so <laughs> so I got to go clean it up. Um, basically, I'm just gonna get air go air hose and and none of it got on the bearing, but it's on the bearing race. So I want to make sure I clean that bearing uh, race installer tool that I made. Uh, clean that before I remove it because it, it might it might contaminate my bearings. Okay, so I got the dirt out. Uh, so make sure if you're going to use a blower tool to blow dirt out, wear safety glasses because I got some dirt in my eye. Uh, so. All right, so I'm going to go clean the stem. I I make sure you use a clean uh, pipe to to get that in there too. Um, let's do this a little bit on the top there. Okay, back on track. So there we go. So now we've installed the uh, the lower seal, the little uh, aluminum seal on the bottom there, and then uh, we've uh, we've got the uh, the lower bearing in there. Already. So, so now we can uh, press it up in there. I think. Okay, so we're ready to get it up in there. Uh, one last thing we got to do is put some grease um, grease on the races real quick. Make sure I wipe the races down clean. And I got some dirt in there. Yeah, it looks good. Okay, so put some grease on the races. Put some grease on the bearing too, on the like where the where the actual bearings are. Quick. Oh, 
I want, man, I'm telling you, this is a big freaking mess, dude, I'm telling you. Those, um, I think the bicycle stuff is a lot cleaner. Hopefully this stuff lasts the life of a... And so we've, we've greased the bottom component, so I'm going to go shove it up in there, and then we'll start greasing the top one. So let's just get this into place so it doesn't have to like, hang out here anymore. Careful not to nick the uh, dealy up. It's kind of in there. So now we got to get i got to get my box. Got my little box from yesterday. Put that underneath the fork. It's got something to sit on. I'm going to shove it up in there. Make sure all the wires go in between the, where, where they were before. Okay. Sorry, that was not the most graceful display there, but I got it there. So. So there it is. Um, that's that's it sitting on the box we were using yesterday. <laughs> it's just the right height, uh, and then you can see all the bearing, bearing stuff there. So, all right. So we're gonna go grease okay, the. So I'm the upper. beginning to think I, I should have uh, greased it before I put the fork. <laughs> it's okay though. You can do it. You can do it. So all you have to do is gonna stick your finger in there and just run some grease in there. Okay, so there's a good amount of grease in there now. Okay, so now we're going to go put our uh, upper bearing in there. Make sure the taper is going downward. Okay. Okay. Now it's kind of holding itself in place now. Okay, so here's our lower bearing and here's our upper bearing. The upper bearing is already in there. Um, so now we're going to want to put our, or we'll put the seal in there first. So this is this, the little seal for the bearing. Um, I don't know if you really need to use this on this, but they used it in the Suron video. So I think it goes with this little, the racy, the, the tapered part going down. So we'll put that. And then, uh, so the old one, the old one had this washer. I don't know if we, we need to use it or not, but we'll just put it back just in case, you know. Just goes right on top of this. Okay. And then there's the plastic cover. Goes on top like that. And that's pretty much it. Uh, and then we got to put the clamp back on. So it's pretty much in there, but not. I don't, I'm not 100% we have to put this back because they didn't in the Suron video, but this was here like this, so uh, we'll see. I Actually, I don't, I don't think we have to use this. So now we got to put the, uh, the clamp back on. All right, so from a different angle, I'll show you when I just, um, you're, so at some point you're going to shove this up in there and that bearing is going to cover there, but right now um, I need to get the clamp, so that's interesting. I kind of. I was wondering if I could put this upside down so it would be the right right, right height and everything. Um, anyway, okay, so this was like this before. So I'm just going to put it back the way I found it. I feel like it should be the other way. I don't know. <laughs> so I'm going to shove this up in here. Make sure that all your wires are where they should be. Um, in fact, I want to go put the headlight back on. Right now. I'm going to put my headlight back on. So don't... Okay, so we're ready to go install. I got my wrench ready. Uh, yeah, anyway. um, I think this is supposed to be like this, yeah? Oh, I don't remember. Mm. I don't know if this is supposed to go down or not. Or what? I freaking forgot, dude. <laughs> I think this goes on top. So I'll put this on top. So we're going to put this in. Pull this up. Okay, so I just wanted to check and see if uh, this uh, 
this uh, um, spacer goes back in, but it doesn't. Um, so, so we're going to not put this in because this is much taller than it was before now. This, basically, that cup takes up the space, space, place of the spacer, so we don't need that anymore. I was wondering if we needed it or not. So, all right. so we're going to go put this back in. Make sure you line up the lower part. Lower part. Oh, okay. Woo. All right. There we go. Did you get that? <laughs> so, so all right. So, so yeah. So now we get. So remember, we had the bearing in there. The little, um, that little, uh, this guy in there. And then we put that little washer on top. And then we put that plastic cover. And that's it. It actually sits a little higher than it was before. Um, because I remember there was a bigger gap than that before, but that's good. I kind of like that. <laughs> it looks, it doesn't look as ghetto anymore. Okay, so now what we're going to do, what we got to do is set the, uh, the height, proper height. I mean the proper, uh, we got to do a headset adjustment now. 